when the special on genetic disorders returns only on the Discovery Channel. The Ellis Van Creveld. The syndrome is also referred to as chondroectodermal dysplasia or EVC. Van Crevel syndrome is most common in the Old Order Amish community in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Because this group of people is small and isolated, it is possible to observe the passage of this particular disorder from generation to generation. I've got because it is not sex-linked, the rate of the disorder from male to female is nearly equal. The parents of an individual with an autosomal recessive condition each carry one copy of the mutated gene, but they typically do not show signs and symptoms of the condition. An autosomal recessive pattern means both copies of the gene in each cell have mutations. For a person to be diagnosed with EVC, they must have two EVC genes which they will have got from their parents. People with one EVC gene look normal and are called carriers. Allow me that. Ellis Van Creveld is a disorder of bone growth characterized by dwarfism, polydactyly or additional fingers, deformed nails and teeth, and heart conditions. EVC syndrome and twins. No. These images compare the Ellis Van Creveld symptoms in identical twins, both affected by the disorder. its hereditary nature, in order to prevent the disorder, which is as frequent as 13% in the general population, it is highly recommended that parents with any family history are subject to genetic counseling. Some of the complications for which care is available include breathing difficulty, congenital heart disease, kidney disease, and bone abnormalities. Families affected by the disorder offer support to each other. Don't hesitate. Help is just a click away. Next on Genetic Disorders, only on the Discovery Channel.